westbound on Grand. Westbound on Grand from May, which will be heading back over to Hefter Parkway here. Like I said, uh, looks like we got... Jim, we're learning okay, a little so bit about the driver. This was a routine really get on traffic stop Hefter where the Parkway. guy didn't stop. So basically, it's going to take us down to uh, Stars and Stripes Park here, it looks yeah. like. So he's picking up West, speed here as he goes down the Grand Boulevard here. On Grand. He's slowing down. Let's see. He may, he may. What's he going to do? Okay, he's going to go south. He's going to cut through the neighborhood because this goes into the neighborhood here. Uh, Instead of taking the bridge over. Just on the east side Hefner of Hefner Parkway. Parkway from Grand. So he's turned his gun into this neighborhood. It looks like the police have uh, kind of backed off, Carl. they got Air One over the scene now. And so the four police, uh, Oklahoma City police crews that were in pursuit have backed off. They're just letting this person, let Air One handle it here. He's in a neighborhood just on the east side of Hefter, south of Grand Boulevard. Uh, Grand Boulevard. He's kind of weaving his way through. As he comes through here, Carl, as he comes through here, Carl, it'll take him over to 63rd on this street here, which looks like maybe Independence. Southbound on Independence coming up to, uh, he'll be okay. coming up to 63rd Street. See what he does here at the intersection. Dodging cars. Okay, he's going to keep going southbound. He's going to keep going southbound here. Like I said, people are just joining this, uh, pickup truck that uh, Oklahoma City PD is in pursuit of right now. I have no information of why they were in pursuit of this pickup, whether where he refused to yield on a traffic stop uh, or what here. Jim, that was it. Information, uh, he, or maybe you have, Carl, but this time. Yeah, right just... Right now, we're going to be coming up here to the expressway again. Southbound on Independence, coming up to the expressway. We'll see what he does. He's got people stopped at the light. He's going to go in the wrong way of traffic here. Okay, he's going to go back westbound on Northwest Expressway, back westbound here on the expressway. Okay, he's getting back on the expressway. And Jim, you mentioned it earlier, that, that is why uh, they are chasing him, is that it was a routine traffic stop, the guy didn't stop. So uh, that's why Oklahoma City Police are pursuing him right now. Okay, so we're coming back up here now. He's got a choice here. He's a, looks like he can't make up his mind here exactly Jim, what he do wants you, to do. Do you see officers uh, on, any patrol officers uh, in sight here? No, Carl, they backed off since Air One okay. has uh, got in the in the air. You can see Air One circle. If we pull back wide, you'll see uh, Air One. He's kind of off to my, yeah. behind me now. But the person is now just obeying the lights here. I think he may think that Oklahoma City's no longer in pursuit, but uh, we got Air One right over the top of him here. And so he's sitting at the light. Okay, now he's gonna go southbound. He's gonna take the on-ramp to 44 going south. So we'll see what happens here, whether uh, whether Oklahoma City may have terminated the pursuit or uh, they're going to join back up here. Now, now he's getting now he's a high rate of speed going yeah. southbound here uh, on 44, Carl. You can see how fast he's uh, picking up speed here. We're coming around on the west side. And then we'll on the east side. We're kind of on the east side of 44 now. So now he's getting off. Looks like he, he's going to get off on... <laughs> He's going to get up on the off ramp at 50th Street here now. I think he realizes that police are still pursuing him. We, well, if now he has not seen that earlier. Grass, he's going to take that uh, little road. He's going to go through a wow. little construction yard there. Okay, now he's going to go westbound on 63rd. Westbound on 63rd. Westbound 63rd. So again, Air One still staying tight over the top of him here. So I'm looking back. Okay, we got the police cruisers coming up to 63rd now. So he's westbound 63rd. He's going to be coming up to, oh, he went south in this little. Okay. Okay, he's in a business. I don't know what he's trying to do here. Maybe he's trying to hide between the buildings. I don't know what he's. Okay, he can't really, can't really go back here. He's going to get trapped here. Oh. He has no place to go here. So, okay, he's going to back up. How close are, uh, are okay, the cruisers? Okay, there's a police cruiser. Oh, he just passed. He just passed. All right, he's. He's cornered here if we have uh, Yeah, but he's getting police, back out on 63rd. There's well, a police cruiser right there. Okay, we got another one coming up from the west. We got four right there that he's just now passed. So we got four that he's passed. They are now turning around. They are now back in pursuit of him on 63rd here, coming up to 44. Well, now he took. he's going to go into a neighborhood on the west side of 44 from 63rd. 
I'm not quite sure what street that is, but it's in a neighborhood here. It looks like the drive is going to be a horseshoe. It's going to be a horseshoe drive. So if we pull back wide, we can show you this horseshoe. Okay. Basically well. entered in on the east side. It's just going to go around right to the west side. He's going to come back out on 63rd. There's no place for him to go from here, except back out on 63rd. Almost hit that car right there as he passed him. Okay, it's okay. We got a trash truck up here, kind of blocking the road. We'll see what happens here. So now he's coming out of this neighborhood, back onto 63rd. Okay, now he's going to go westbound on 63rd. Westbound on 63rd. Back to westbound 63rd. He'll be coming back up to Portland. There's the, there's the here again. police officer. He back to Portland. Passed. He's going to cross through the to the. Okay, now, now he's in the wrong lane of traffic going down Portland here. I'm not quite sure. He's forcing that car over. Jim, how many cruisers do you see stop. following this guy? We, we, we spotted, I don't know, uh, three or four in that neighborhood there. How many cruisers? Yeah, we got a lot more. This guy's we got a lot more joining the pursuit now. Yeah. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven uh, right now, Carl, that is uh, coming up on him along with Air One here. They're still keeping their distance there, though, on the street. Right, yeah, there's no reason for them to get up on him with Air One over the scene, uh, Carl, because Air One basically can track him till yeah. he either gets low on fuel or he makes a mistake here. But uh, they're, they're just holding back. Okay, we are now up to 39th Street. Okay, he's going to go westbound on 39th. Westbound on 39th from Portland. So... Here we go, westbound. He's picking up speed, trying to weave through traffic here. Looks like the next, uh, we pass Willow Springs Road. We'll be coming up to Tulsa Avenue. Tulsa Avenue going westbound on 39th Street. Okay, 39th gets kind of busy here. So all lanes are blocked right there. Let's see what he does. He's gonna jump the curb, go through the intersection. Now he's gonna go southbound. I think this is Tulsa that he's just going southbound on. So southbound from 39th going southbound on Tulsa. Southbound on Tulsa, okay. And again, so if, let's you, if see, folks, he's going to be coming up to 36th Street. Jim, okay, just real so quick we're going westbound yeah. now on 36th Street, northwest 36th from Tulsa. Okay. Uh, Air One is still over him. The other uh, police officers have fallen back here a little bit. This was a chase that's been going on for uh, at least 20, 25 minutes. Started right around uh, Northwest 57th and May when uh, troopers tried to pull this guy over and he, uh, shoot troopers, Oklahoma City Police tried to pull this guy over and he would not stop. Okay, Carl, we're coming up to uh, Meridian Avenue if he stays uh, westbound here. Okay, he's gonna go southbound Meridian. Okay. Southbound Meridian from 39th. Southbound Meridian from 39th. Uh, Air One still over. I still got the police officers. I got one, two, three, four, five, six coming up uh, on 39th, getting ready to turn southbound here on uh, Meridian. He's picking up, he's picking up speed, going down Meridian here. And and for a little Air while, admit, uh, Carl, we, if he keeps going southbound, we'll have to change over to Oklahoma City here for just a second. Okay. And I just want to say this guy has been followed here for about 20, 25 minutes. Officers tried to pull him over, uh, and he would not stop. And so we got word this thing was going right around 57th and May, uh, now southbound on Meridian. And cruisers, um, Oklahoma City police on the ground there on the street, uh, they have fallen back a little bit, giving this guy a little bit of space. But Air One is right where Jim is, uh, following uh, following this guy's every move. So. They're tracking this guy, even if uh, it doesn't appear that way from some of our shots, but they're definitely tracking him from the air, and they're not too far back on the ground. There was a time during this chase where it appeared this guy thought that maybe uh, police had stopped their pursuit because he was following traffic and uh, stopping at, at red lights. Okay, he's 
and uh, and He's then I think you realize that that wasn't the case off, anymore. Uh, it's going to be south of 23rd, okay. off of Meridian. He's driving into a neighborhood here. And we'll see where he goes from here. He's going eastbound right now from Meridian. Looks like that's 20th Street that he's on now. So we're going to be back eastbound on 20th from Meridian. Still going at a pretty high rate of speed through this neighborhood. Yes, and we're going to start running up to, uh, looks like stop signs here, four-way stops. And he just blew through that four-way stop. He went southbound here. Looks like we're back on Tulsa, Tulsa Avenue again. Back on Tulsa southbound from 20th. That's going to take us up to Northwest 10th here. And I'm going to have to change over to Oklahoma City here just for a minute, Carl. Approaching Northwest 10th south on Tulsa, that is a uh, Chevy Avalanche pickup truck that police have been pursuing going on 25 minutes. Uh, Air One overhead, they are tracking this guy's every move, but uh, officers tried to pull this guy over right around 57th and May, Northwest OKC, and he didn't. He didn't stop, and so that's when the chase started. So again, going on about uh, 25 minutes or so, it's a Chevy Avalanche pickup truck, and officers are on the ground I'm in sorry, pursuit, but they are giving this guy a little bit of distance because they got okay. Air One right overhead. Uh, he's close to Northwest 10th, and once we get Jim back on, he'll give us a kind of an exact location of, uh, of where this guy's right, headed. So but uh, Hey, Carl, we just... Go ahead, Jim. 124.2, Roger. Carl, I'm going to have to switch. I'm going to talk to Oklahoma City approach here. Real okay, quick. no problem. All right, we see this guy still racing through these neighborhoods, going a, a pretty good rate of speed here near uh, Tulsa and Northwest 10th. And Rogers Tower. Police are in pursuit of this guy on the ground, although sometimes at our shots, it, it doesn't look like that's the case. They did fall back quite a bit, but Air One is. Uh, right with uh, Jim Gardner's shot right here, tracking this guy's move. We've seen him in and out of He's neighborhoods on Northwest, uh, in, in and out of neighborhoods in Northwest OKC, also Hefner Parkway, blowing through uh, red light stop signs, cutting through corners at, at intersections to get around traffic. Uh, at one point, it looked like this guy thought for a moment maybe they, they weren't pursuing him anymore when those officers first fell back on the ground, but. Uh, Obviously not the case now. Uh, he, he knows Air One's overhead and uh, and knows that police still want to see him stopped. So we have been following this for now going on right, 30 now, minutes. Jim's talking to communication right now. We're going to hear from him in a moment. But uh, police are in pursuit on the ground, and uh, that's Air One that's right there with Jim's shot. So we're seeing this guy just weave in and out of neighborhoods, um, kind of unsure exactly his next move, but uh, we've seen him get out of a couple of tight situations, including um, a, a strip mall center where it looked like he basically may, had to make a U-turn to get out of there and, and was able to do that, so. Okay, Carl, we're now going, uh, looks like uh, from, we're coming up to Northwest 10th. Let me see what street this may be here. We're going east, uh, we were on uh, looks like Miller Road Boulevard. Now we've come east on Northwest 10th. So he's eastbound on Northwest 10th. Eastbound Northwest 10th. Well, no, he, he's one he's one block north of Northwest 10th. I thought he was going all the way three. Okay. But now he's on a street that's just north of Northwest 10th eastbound here. So now he's going back north now. Jim, are you see seeing are got. you seeing cruisers uh, nearby, or how how far back have yeah, they fallen? Yeah, Carl, they're uh, they're keeping uh, a couple hundred feet behind him. At least I got one cruiser uh, behind him right now. We are northbound. Okay. Okay, now he's come back west. It looks like that may be around 13th Street. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe 14th or 15th. All right, oh, he, he well, he stopped. So he's out. Okay, he's running. So we'll watch him. Watch him here. Looks like two, there's two of them running. There's two of them got out of the truck and running. Okay. 
So the so I went to that house carport right there. Okay, he's in the backyard. It's that guy in that neon green shirt that just got out of the way. Not sure what's going on. Looks like he may end up being that white. Well, they're in this 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 house here. Is either two males or what uh, my cameraman's saying is maybe one male and a female that got out, but I didn't have really time to to look. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me too, Jim. I, what is it this that they're like, in, they Jim? They may be in that building right there. We Just never like, see them, see is them that come a, out, Carl. A garage? Okay, police are right there. We have we have there's a there's someone in the backyard here. Okay. It looks like there's a child in the backyard, yeah. Carl. Okay, well that's... Okay, let's... It looks like they may... We, uh, I don't think that's a person. I think that was a homeowner that came out. I they're, think you're right. Of course, they got to be careful. They don't They don't know who that is. They don't know that if that was a homeowner or not. It was just a person that came out the door. So, I mean, they, they put him on the ground, but they're doing that for their safety, Carl. Because uh, they, they don't know what these people look like. This is obviously a tense scene going on. The two suspects we believe are in that that building there. You have a kid in the backyard under that awning or the bench there. And then the homeowner um, in the neon green, who he's he's right now he's he's with police. And in other words, police just got on the scene and made him get down. So this is all going I think on right now. There's two officers that entered that building. We, Carl. Yes, exactly. So we're coming around here. Air One was right was right there, so uh, he got a good visual on him along they, with us as they they ran down the street. No, for sure, the officers got to this whatever this is this building here really quickly. Okay, Carl. Okay. We got more and more police showing up here. Uh, I'm not exactly where we are. It looks like we may be on 13th. It looks like we may be on Northwest 13th Street. Just of uh, uh, Jim, we have one in custody. Across street here. We have one in custody, according to Oklahoma City Police. Well, I'm not sure unless they unless he had a unless he had a neon shirt when he left. Of course, I was kind of in the sun, so that could be one of them because I really couldn't tell. And unless they, uh, my cameraman's telling me the neon shirt is a homeowner. Yeah, no, I, I, I see what you're saying, and I agree with that. I'm just sure if, if, didn't we see two people go in there? Maybe, maybe one of them is given up and the other one's hiding. I don't know. I'm just, uh, this is the, what we're well, hearing from Oklahoma City Carl, police. Like said, I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time hearing you sometimes because I got Oklahoma City approaching my ear, talking to all the other traffic around here, yeah. talking to me, so we don't uh, get in conflict with one another here. So. So it looks like the officers are guiding the child out of the backyard. So, like I said, I don't know how old that child is, but we got officers walking out. But uh, we got officers on the on 12th Street. We got officers on 13th Street, and then the two streets on either side, on the east and west. Okay, Jim, we are being told we saw two people go into that building there with with the white roof, and one is in custody. So I just want to fill you in. We, and we, we had that kid that got out of the backyard that lived there and the homeowner. So aside from those two, the two suspects that went in were being told one now in custody. Okay, roger that, Carl. Uh, I'll, <laughs> uh, I haven't seen anybody else come out, uh, like I said. But, uh, you know, like I said, I haven't really yeah. been looking, staring down. I got to, I got to watch out for traffic around me. and and main, maintain contact with Oklahoma City approach here, so. Yeah, we haven't seen uh, a suspect taken uh, out of there. We just know that. Rich is telling me that he hasn't seen anybody come out of that building yet. But we did see police go in. And so, this could be a situation where one of those suspects is hiding and the other one is in custody. We, we don't know. I just, this is the word from Oklahoma City police that two people went in there and one of them uh, is in custody. So that, that's what we do know. But, uh, this is the culmination of a high-speed chase that went on for about a half hour today, starting in northwest Oklahoma City and, and weaving throughout town, but mainly uh, northwest OKC is where this chase started, going in and out of neighborhoods on Hefner Parkway, 
uh, at a high rate of speed there as that two people we got a guy okay, in cuffs. looks like rich has got him looks like rich has got him on camera there's a yeah. suspect right there both of them in custody out. is what we're being told jim both of them in custody you see that guy there with the shirt on with 13 on the back uh, he's now in cuffs and the other person as well that went in there we think that was a, a female suspect she's been arrested as well okay well that's good carl and like i said uh, you're hearing more than i am because i got a ton of traffic in my ear here but uh the good thing is this this came to an end without anybody getting getting hurt yeah. and uh you know you got to kind of take your hands off to oklahoma city pd for what they because once air one got over the scene then they just they just relaxed and backed off and let air one uh you know track him and uh, give his position so that kept from really pushing him and making him do something stupid when we come down there. He had high rate of speeds in a few areas. Yeah, Jim. Actually ran some four-way stops and a couple of lights, but uh, luckily, Carl, nobody got injured. The homeowner didn't get injured. Everybody got out of here safely, and uh, two suspects are in custody. Jim yeah. Gardner reporting live for Bob Mills. Scott News 9, back to you. Jim, we appreciate the effort. Good work there. And again, two suspects now in custody after a high-speed chase that started about 30 minutes ago when the driver of a pickup truck would not stop when officers tried to pull that person over. We're going to learn more on this, get you up to speed. You can also tune into News9.com, but we'll see you here at 4 o'clock with the very latest. Chili's first because Chili's it's the star. Like the star of it. And then Cheese is just there to be like, I'm gonna lift you up. It would be nothing without the Fritos and the cheese. Mm -hmm. And Cheese is like the hype man. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic Fritos Chili Cheese Junior Wrap. Uh, I got you. Yeah. Noah is a reckless spender. It has to be super fancy, expensive, or it's nothing. He has a $700 hoodie. He has a 15.